the college basketball experience, sweet 16 bombs down under episode on the sports gambling podcast network is brought to you by cut cut is a peer to peer social betting platform. That's us based and available in Florida different states head to cut.com. That's K U T T.com. Use that promo code SGPN for a 10% deposit bonus. We're also brought to you by underdog fantasy, play their fantasy, uh, pick them for a chance to win a hundred times the amount of money. You can enter in NBA, MLB, NHL and college hoops and much, much more sign up today using the promo code SGPN to get a hundred percent deposit match. We're also brought to you by hall of fame bets. Yes. The sports betting research platform for parlays, player props and game lines. Download the hall of fame bets app or uh, visit hofbets.com. Use that promo code SGPN to get 50% off your first month and start making smarter bets today. People and remember as always folks to let it ride. What's up everybody. This is Cameron Crow from Loyola Chicago Ramblers and you're listening to SGPN. Let it ride. Shout out to the broad stop. Thank you guys. Basketball experience, sweet 16, bombs down under. <laughs> uh, yes, I see the chat is rocking. YouTube.com slash the college experience. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. Off the grid sports, the same bet detectives on the mm-hmm. case. Mm. Dom Dom Duggan saying, uh, just tuning in at the right time. Hope you guys had a wonderful trip in Las Vegas. Uh, look. We did, and we're going to talk all about it. As obviously, Sweet Sixteen, we know the Sweet Sixteen. We know, hmm. we know the NIT Final Four. We know the uh, what is it? The CIT. CIT. We know they're. Uh, I almost said uh, they're the CLTs, to. like the Charlotte Forty ers We got all these tournaments winding down. Got coaches going left and right. We're going to talk a little bit more about that later on in the five o'clock five thirty show uh, with NC Nick Moneyline Mac and uh, Mister B Nick. But yeah, but yeah, first you probably be, Max what's that? Be happy. Yeah, he's got to be happy. Yeah, yeah. Got to be happy. I would say um, it's easy to see a tide turn. That that's what Max <laughs> saying. Uh, <laughs> if you're wondering who the hell you're listening to, my name is Colby Swing at Database Dad, aka Pick Don D. That's not a pick. This is a pick. He was raised in the land down under, where a man thinks on his feet, speaks with his fists, <laughs> and lives by his wits. When Dundee happened, he was a superstar. I'm probably drinking too much and celebrating too much and not sleeping. I would have killed a normal man, but uh, now that's gone. The medical advice I got from that was, was like being hit by lightning. Pretend it never happened and get on with your life. Yes, yes, yes. Shout out to Jose in the chat. Everyone's in the chat. Get on over there. Hit that like, some, hit that subscribe, all that shit. Appreciate you. And uh, look, Vegas was fantastic, but there was a few times where I turned over to my friend here, the bet detective, and I said, I'm dying in this fucking country ass fucked up town. Shit <laughs> in my mouth. The fuck? I can't see Pollard. Uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't, I didn't have any problems with Pollard. Uh, I am joined <laughs> by my co host. He is the host of the Bottom Line Bombs uh, podcast, which, I mean, folks, if you are not, I mean, Get on over there because I know college basketball. You'd say, you know, we're, we we cover college hoops year round here, but you could say, hey, there's only 16 teams left. We're at the NIT Final Four, CBI, CIT. You're almost done. Well, don't worry, we got you covered for the off season. But the bottom line, bomb stays revved up. All right, they're, they, yeah, I saw. I watched this guy get a fucking future on uh, Philadelphia Flyers in the middle of March Madness. <laughs> all right? uh, so the- I mean, they're all for 80 to one. I'm going to grab it. <laughs> uh, Everyone, uh, I'm, in, I'm in line. I was like, hey, buddy, Arizona. 
Arizona's tipping off right now in the second. Oh, easy, easy. I'm looking at I'm looking at some home run props for the season here. Hold on now. I got my folder out. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Get on over to the Bob Line Bob. Subscribe. All right. They call this guy the man in the box, aka the bet detective. Give it up for CJ Sullivan. How are you? And I know you just got back from Vegas this morning, so you haven't to me I needed like a solid a solid, uh, you know, uh, 36 hours of detox, eat some blueberries, uh, antioxidants, all that shit. Uh, how yeah, are you? We, great. Absolutely great. That is true. I know you did the full week there, so that was different. You know, I came at the end right when you were winding down, so things were getting tired. So, brush, <laughs> so, so I was on there for two days, and then when everyone left, it was just me, and I one flight got delayed. I'm like, ah, hey, you know what? Maybe two days is not enough. I, I push it to Saturday and Sunday, and two days is plenty. You don't need those extra like two. I found that out. Although I, I paced myself pretty properly. Both nights, I pretty much just kept it in i got upgraded to the suite I'm like you know what? i'm just gonna i just need to know i just like to know i don't need to be a part of things i just need to know what's going on out there you know what i mean like i'm, I'm just glad it's occurring i don't want to be a part of it i don't want to interact with people so I, I i did a nice vegas night by staying in staying in and watching ooh, the games on ooh, TV. yeah it was, it was awesome i'll say this and shout out to uh the great uh italian establishments in phoenix scott and scottsdale and and uh tempe Venezia's, I think it is, uh, Italian yeah. restaurants. Uh, they they uh, they they hooked us up. They're very lucky that I had a six a.m. flight because mm. they told me, and I and I, then I I told CJ because the guy goes, uh, and by the way, their food's fantastic. Go check it out if you're in the Phoenix area. But he goes, you know, we haven't met our minimum yet. Yeah, and uh, yeah. me and CJ. <laughs> I got, on that, I got on that case. You need to hit a minimum. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. Call us yeah. up. You got the right guys here. You got break the right guys. Yeah, break glass <laughs> in case of emergency. And then uh, we come in. We, yeah, we came in with the, like suitcases and glasses. We heard we heard there's a fifteen hundred dollar minimum that needs to be hit. No problem. <laughs> I take two cheeseburgers, yeah. side of onion rings, two pizza slices, right. and uh, four Bloody Marys and a shot of tequila. Yeah, All right, stand, let's go. St yeah, stand back. <laughs> We've done this before. Do not get near us when we order. <laughs> oh man, those were that was that, that that's what I'm saying though. If I didn't have that 6 a.m. wake up, they would have regretted all yeah, that. But that yeah. was amazing. We we're in that room. That was a great 30 minute window. There it was the end of the uh, Florida, um, Florida. The, uh, who did they play? No, you had the you had the Colorado Florida game. Colorado you had the, Florida uh, game, which was amazing. Then the Yale Auburn yeah. game or at the end. So we got to both end there. We're all Linda. We're saying, fuck, you know, because the Florida Gators, you were extra excited for Yale beating Auburn because the, because the boys had Auburn in their final four and you just lost yours in, with Nevada. So this is where I love it, where at the end of the week, things just got personal. It had nothing to do with teams. Like <laughs> I don't care about Auburn, but I care that Sean has Auburn. So fuck them. <laughs> Let's go, Yale. You had the sweater on. You're playing the George W. Bush thing. And, and <laughs> <laughs> the best thing about Yale was, uh, and they're the, they're the classic upset the NCAA. We're like, we're hoisting about our shoulders. Thank God, Yale, for knocking Sean as a Final Four team out. And then as soon as that game's over, we ha we have nothing to do with them. We don't, you're useless to us. Go get destroyed for San Diego State and get the hell out of here. Well, I mean, the guys came at me a little rough because of my Nevada pick, which should have fucking hit, by the way. Right. It's not like it's not like that Auburn case where, like, you know, that game was tight the whole game. Yeah, I know. That, um, which is kind of funny because, like, yeah, I was doing a clip of Barkley lighting a cigar with Auburn. They were up eight at halftime because of a or seven or whatever it was. A seven. Actually, I know exactly it was seven because I had the first half bet. Um, because of a quick run there at the end, that was luck box. I mean, they were it was not been tucked the entire game. There was no, there was not one point that it looked like Auburn was just going to pull away from that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So if anything, I know the human being and fish can coexist peacefully. I'm so glad that Yale because they they thought they're on their they're all high and mighty. Like, yeah. how could you pick Nevada in the Final Four, right? Like, like. Well, like that was a good have, pick. I mean, obviously they should have yeah. won that game, but who knows what they would have done next. But like, yeah, I mean, at least they had the potential to, to do something. Like they didn't have Purdue in their Final Four last year. I know, right? Right, and then boom, it comes crashing down. Uh, Micah in the chat says, "Any big hits at the slots or the tables from the crew mm. over the weekend?" Uh, we yeah, we we definitely did, but uh, 
It was, uh, we had maybe we might have a, st- a case of a stolen identity going on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> somebody hit, somebody hit big with our, <laughs> with our yes. information. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, and, and, and one of us, uh, did have to fill out tax work yeah. and then that information was then stolen. Correct. So, um, yeah, I, and I think some 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 poker chips were stolen as well in there. Uh, that's, well, that's unfortunate. Then it got worse for him as his uh, extended leg parlay, lo- the only loss by Oregon mm. plus five, which was the double overtime. Oh my brutal, god, brutal oh. hit that I was also on. Oh not my parlay, god, I was on that too, man. I was on a money well, line too. Had, there they're up nothing, four and thirty-five yeah. seconds left. There was nothing more inevitable than uh, when he missed that. When Creighton missed it at the end of overtime, that Bundy shot, like, oh, now it's going double overtime. They're going to win by 15. Yeah. I think yeah. Creighton should I have. Mean, people are saying Oregon should have fouled with a game tied with 15 seconds. Put Creighton on the line. Let him get there, too, because double overtime is going to get is going to get bloody. You're not you're not going to make it. You're, you're exhausted. So well, yeah, one guy, the, one guy kicked that or he already it was injured. You know what I mean? You're right. The, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'll be honest, like. Before it even got to any line, of the overtimes, hey two, Dana whatever. Altman, you had a timeout. Yeah, don't that was ball, don't inbound the ball to Infali Dante, who is a horrible free throw shooter at your most. Or don't have a, don't have a, don't have a freshman inbounding the ball who doesn't yeah. know these Just things. Call or a timeout. Them, call yeah, a timeout. Don't, whatever you do, don't give the ball to Dante. All right, I love Dante. He's amazing. Um, but yeah, that was they should have won that game. Money line should have hit. They were the better Absolutely. team that day. Disgusting, disgusting, disgusting. And I don't know if I can say, by the way, that uh, our, the identity was stolen. It was just left behind. And I think so. And then that, at that point, you had an opportunity to say, hey, right. there's money in here and there's someone's uh, identity. So, yeah, Nevada was up by by 17 or 18 points. I mean, don't remind me. Don't remind <laughs> me of this fucking thing. Uh, it was an it was an epic collapse by Nevada. It was almost I mean, we couldn't even believe it. We're up there relaxing, we're up in the room, we're taking naps. I'm on tech support with the Wi-Fi <laughs> <laughs> at, at the Westgate. Yeah. Shout uh, out to the Westgate's uh their uh, exclusive uh internet connection. Exclusive only for me, not working. I called down, you know, uh, and they said uh um, yeah, just call tech support. I call tech support. They go, what's resort are you in? I'm like, Westgate. Okay, what country is that? All right. <laughs> okay, we're gonna we're just gonna get far. You know, <laughs> we went through a bunch of rigmarole, and then our final yeah. our, our final analysis was uh okay, I'm, it looks like it's it's a tech issue. Y- yeah, yeah, it's a if, tech issue. You're you right, correct. That's why, that's why yeah, that's why I call tech support. <laughs> you your your tech support. This is a tech issue. <laughs> Fix the tech. Uh, look, in 2024, if you don't know where you're calling from before you answer the phone, that's a problem. <laughs> right. that's, that's a problem. That's, All right. Problem. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you really do have a major problem there. So, uh, you know, when it comes to uh, the fine people at the Westgate and, and their uh, tech support. Yes, they deserve to die. I hope they burn in hell. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, shout out to Big Knox giving us uh, ten dollars. All four yes. number one seeds to make the final four is plus two thousand on FanDuel. Thoughts? Let's talk about that for a second. Twenty to one for all four number one seeds to make the final four. All right. Houston almost lost last night, though. Houston they almost lost last they night. They tried everything they could <laughs> to lose. That I had A and M. I was happy on that. That game was awesome. I had I had Houston. I couldn't believe the beat. I'm like, I can't believe it. I, I, first of all, I was mad they're not going to cover. I'm like, How are they not going to cover this? You know, this is unbelievable. <laughs> and I'm like, well, they're going to lose this fucking game. And like, I'm like, and that I would have been happy at least had the decency to lose outright. Don't you do that and then win with one starter out there in overtime? That was insane. <laughs> Dude, when they hit the three at the buzzer and sent it to overtime, I thought there was no way Houston was winning the game. Impossible. I was like, yeah, I was like, a and momentum now right. is going to be through the roof. And then I knew a couple guys were fouled out. That game was a brawl, by the way. Oh, it was a brawl. That and Grand Canyon. Don't even get me started in the goddamn <laughs> Grand Canyon game. But, uh, I mean, wh- I, I have a theory. I think it's because they've taken the charge away from the college reps, and that's what the college reps used to love to do. They loved calling charges. Yeah, it was yeah. a little, a little it was racial overtones with it, but they loved calling charges. 
And we <laughs> took it away because we wanted to make it more NBA ish, you know. Then we know people don't like charges and blah, blah, blah. So now the refs, they're fighting back by saying, all right, fuck it. Call your own out there then. Because people <laughs> are getting assault. It's assault and battery out there. I mean, it's just absolute fucking collision. Dude, Jay, no Jay call. Wright caught it out at halftime. I, I want to say it was the Houston AM game. Jay Wright's like, you know, they've called a few fouls, but he is, he, he, he's like, roll the tape. And like, you see, like, I think. <laughs> A and M has like a, a three shot opportunity. Like they, they drive the right. lane. They miss a shot. They miss a shot. Cause a guy gets punched in the face, but then uh, the, the rebound is there. Then like, it was like, a, like the guy got raked in the eyes. Like it was old WWF yeah. Ric Flair. And, and you know, uh, but, but, and then the, the third guy is over the back and they finally call a foul, but it was like the lightest of the, it was a very light. That's foul. What it's I, like, that's what I hate. There's a, there's an absolute, prison brawl going on on one side <laughs> you know oh whatever and then a ball fucking flies up in the air and then they have leads to a fast break obviously and it's a fucking little grazed touchdown yeah, yeah. and they love calling that just because they're out of breath from running back down the other end <laughs> like you're gonna call that but not the goddamn fucking you know rugby match that's happening underneath <laughs> the other net yeah dude those those, those calls were fucking insane and I, look i was on alabama I don't know how the fuck I covered that game. It was like, I know they went on a 17 to two run to end the game, but it didn't feel like it. It felt like, it felt like, Hey, uh, we're going to win by two. <laughs> you know it what was, I mean? Like it was, well, I mean, grand Canyon was up four with five yeah. minutes to go. Yeah. It was a one point game with less than four minutes to go. And then they didn't score the whole way through. I mean, they didn't score to end the game, to end the thing. But like, yeah, that was just prison brawl. Uh, the refs, Alabama had a five point possession just from missed free throws. They would break the front end of one and then not punch a fucking Greg Katie guy in the face, arch rival style. Get up, get fouled. Then they go to the line and they just kept missing and just kept fucking bright. Like, what is going on out there? But, um, yeah, great. Also, Grand Canyon missing 14 free throws certainly does not help. Going two yeah. for 20 from three. I mean, no one else scored yeah. on that team. Yeah. Um, that was that was gross. As a man who's fully invested in Grand Canyon, uh, all the way. And then they, they, they the path was there for him. You know, once so, how do you feel? Mary's, so once they beat St. Mary's, the path was there for him. And Alabama wasn't hitting shots last night, and that's when you get them. I mean, but that offensive game, like as Armour said, those game, the game plan was disgusting. It was shocking. They should, uh, and of course, they're not going to cover. Why, why? Why would they? Yeah, and and and, and uh, but back to his original question, they're Big Knox. Seeds, right now, I will actually wait. This is an NIT bracket. Hang on, I do print out NIT brackets too. Um, so you got you got UConn taking on San Diego State. You know, and I know we're going to touch base on this in a second, but I'm saying like, I, I mean, which is the one seed that I, I think you got to be nervous about uh, Carolina in LA taking on Arizona. I think that's the one that's not going to hit. Right. I mean, I guess theoretically, wait, what Purdue could oh, lose yeah. to any wait, of these fucking so you, teams. So Arizona will get through Clemson. We're pretty sure of that. And then um, North Carolina. That sets up a Carolina. So Carolina's got Alabama and Arizona. That's the one you got to worry about, but sure. it's in Los Angeles. Yep, maybe that's going to be a fucking home game for Arizona. Maybe the maybe the uh, weekend bomb picks Dundee will even be there in the tennis. Bring them to them. Who knows? We were thinking about that, you know, yeah. like, and maybe uh Venezia's pizza. Yeah, do, do am I pronouncing that correctly? V e n e. Not at all. But <laughs> <laughs> but the, but it, their food is delicious. Yeah. I mean, who's gonna who's gonna correct you in Arizona? What Italians out? The only Italians out there are witness protection programs, so they can't. Make <laughs> um, other than that, you got Purdue's obviously they're in, they they um, what do you got Gonzaga? They beat I know they beat them earlier in the year, but it's a different Gonzaga team they're playing. And then um, who's their two seed? Marquette is that their two seed? Uh, for yeah, per yeah. Purdue. Yeah, that would be their no Tennessee. Tennessee is their two. Tennessee's are two. Okay. Houston's, Barnes, got, Houston's yeah. got Marquette. All right. Um, yeah, so, I don't know. I mean, I feel like it, it's worth taking a shot on Big Knox. Like just plus two thousand, it's worth it. It's probably unlikely to me because I I just I never trust Purdue. And then I think Carolina having to play Arizona mm. in LA is a tough one, but I can tell you this, UConn, I don't even know with Houston anymore, the way Houston look, but UConn's getting there. I feel like UConn, UConn will be there. <laughs> UConn is, uh, did, 
they got San Diego State next. Is that right? Yeah, San Diego State, and then they would have after and that, it, you know. And the coach is hilarious. He well, called the the UConn. I know it's a UConn Invitational. We'll try to get you know try to get in there. <laughs> um, they look, yeah, they're ferocious. And how about that? That I can't believe that was a sweat. The UConn covered. Oh my bitches. God! I had Northwestern. I thought I was going to backdoor that. Uh, I thought that was inevitable. The way they were playing that. And then unbelievable, dream. incredible. Um, um, yeah. So UConn's getting there. Now that Auburn's out of the, that, Auburn was the only team in there could be. Although I actually not, think Iowa State could be a little dangerous for in them. my bracket. I have Iowa State doing it, but um, they are absolutely dangerous the way they, they, they play. Although it's man. worth sprinkling this plus two thousand, in my opinion, it's worth the the sprinkle. Yeah, I'd not be able to do the math. What what would that eighteen money line parlay be there if you brought them all together? We'd probably be around there. But it's not, it's not it's not worth the work you have to do for that. So yeah, it's not, it's not a bad sprinkle. UConn would have got locked in. Connecticut might be a little bit of a problem. Um, Purdue, I feel pretty good. I mean, Gonzaga is a tough match, but I feel pretty good if there's Creighton or Tennessee with Purdue. And Purdue, then, though, I just uh, they just have a history. I know that they sure the sure, sure. like okay, you beat the shit out of Utah State, but you right. I wake up this morning with the, the news that Utah State's head coach is at Washington, and by the way, we were hanging out. Rocco Miller was with us, uh, yes. and he was telling us then. So it's like, I want to show you really paying attention. Then, if you're interviewing, you're interviewing during uh, you know, <laughs> March well. Madness. What about Bill Self? He's going to think about next year for fucking two months now. Apparently. That's true. That is true. Um, but yeah, I think it's a decent shot, Big Knox. Appreciate the ten dollars as you give us as well, man. Uh, yes. Look, we're going to talk some more about what's what happened this weekend, and then dive into a little bit of NIT action going on. We got a couple games starting off, but before we do that. Uh, I want to tell you, we're brought to you by cut. Yes. Cut is a peer to peer social betting platform. That's us based and available in 40 different States. P2P social betting is a new and better way to bet, bet directly against your friends or other users on sports, politics, pop culture, and other events with verifiable outcomes. Plus they got a ton of fun social features that give it a feel of a social uh, of a social, like a betting social network, so to speak cut offers lower vig and fully customizable. Uh, you can create your own bets. We created one. If John Calipari will be fired, uh, and it doesn't look like he will. I would assume yeah. they would already do that. Yeah. Uh, if they were, um, cut handles the payment side of things too. So you never have to chase anyone down uh, for dollars. Uh, social features include group chats, betting leaderboards, head to head history, user profiles, fan groups, and much, much more. Uh, so what are you doing folks? Download cut today in the app store, head over to cut.com K U T T.com. Uh, and use the promo code SGPN for a 10% deposit bonus. We're also brought to you by underdog fantasy Uh, underdog fantasy is the easiest place to play fantasy sports. It's also the fastest growing fantasy app in the industry. Uh, Pick with your favorite player. will have a higher, lower stat total in this week's game for a chance to win big. You can win up to a hundred times the amount of money you enter in a single night, pick between two and five players to build a pick up entry. Um, And obviously the more players you add, your odds go up. Sign up today with the promo code SGP and get your first deposit doubled up to a hundred dollars as well as the instant pickup special. Uh, and once again, look, a uh, cannabis capper, follow him on Twitter at cannabis capper. He's done a great job. He's been writing these articles over at sports really breaking down this stuff. And I know the sweet 16 is loading up on Thursday. I know underdog will have some great stuff available for you to get down on the sweet 16 game. So visit underdog find them in the app store. And don't forget to register with the promo code SGPN for your first deposit doubled up to a hundred dollars as well as an instant pickup special. All righty. Mm. We are back. And uh, Chip Collins noticing me during the commercial break says, No liquid is safe with CJ around. So, uh, I, had the, so I was double fisted. I had the coffee, the iced coffee here. And then I, but this is a spitter right here. This is, this is a, I'm <laughs> drinking one and spitting out the other one. Uh, yeah, he, he, uh, <laughs> Chip, just he give are, Chip an update. He Arbo says also, Caitlin Clark. Over thirty one. Think about over. that game tonight. That late lady, Caitlin Clark, lady over. She was she was doing some lady bitching the other day. The dad didn't like it. Oh dad, yeah. Dad Clark said, "Shut the f up and uh, get back to playing ball." Back to the mule, you, you hick. You know, and uh, <laughs> a hick daughter. What do we got today? They're laying fifteen against West Virginia. Well, I mean, look, I Give just can't. I just, I just can't lay fifteen, so I will. <laughs> 
I, I just like playing that song. Um, yeah, no, I like I like I like the Lady Mountaineers too. Obviously, you're gonna get an inflated line anytime you have Iowa. You know, um, they're not bad. Those mountain, those Lady Mountaineers. I know I've watched a little bit of little Lady action. I would, yeah, I would do a little Lady Sprinkle. Eight the one. Woo! Woo! Tell you Ooh, what, get Kate, on over there. Caitlin's not doing her job, and uh, the Iowa team's in trouble. They're not like South Carolina. They don't have like ten All Americans out there. You know. Yeah. I, I will say I've been one of the things I've enjoyed about women's basketball this year. It's been chippy. It's been very chippy. It's been chippy. I tell you what, I enjoyed it. And I even though my lady crusade, I mean, they, they throw, I mean, girls fight dirty, period. You oh, know? yeah. <laughs> they play absolutely dirty. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, the lady elbows, lady hair pulls. I mean, Jesus. I, wa- I, once, I once was on a date with a woman that was a doctor, mm-hmm. right? At, oh, she was attending Stanford. It was hilarious because in the middle of the date, and I don't know how the hell we got on the subject, but uh, she 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 said, or I think I said maybe it was like uh, first women president or something. I don't know how the fuck we got on the, but she goes, you know, I I love women's rights and everything, but a a woman should never be in charge of anything because <laughs> because because we're evil. And I thought, wow. Yeah. Yeah. I, I almost spit my margarita out, man. I was like, I, I was, I was not expecting that answer. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, they get, they get after it. I like watching these, these, these little brawls, you know what I mean? So, uh, <laughs> no, absolutely. They, I mean, they, and they fight dirty. She was right. That doctors, because we, we <laughs> I evil. couldn't believe it. They do not care about any. <laughs> uh, and, uh, yeah. So, I mean, look, Get on over there. Sprinkle a little bit of this dub V money line action. Um, but uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, we got a, we got a couple games that are about to tip off in like an hour here. Okay. Uh, I know that this is going to be an episode that's out for 24 hours, but I do want to mention that Evansville is taking on Seattle mm. in beautiful Daytona Beach, Florida. Wow. Um, I think we have a live dog here. Isn't Purple it? aces are getting plus three hundred. The Missouri Valley plays great ball. Seattle is far away from home, man. Like, see, let me. The best way to paint this: Seattle to Daytona Beach, just it's like going to a different planet. Daytona Beach is one of the grimiest beaches I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I think Evansville is going to be able to connect with Daytona Beach, yeah, yeah, a lot better than these uh, than these Seattle folk coming in there from their what's the name of their stadium, the Ozone Layer. Yeah, right? the now <laughs> they, they're going to go down to Daytona Beach and they're going to realize that life's a little different. Uh, and to me, I I think Evansville's live. I think they can cover this game. I actually think the money. Yeah, I'm sprinkling the money line too. Now you're going to need Flow Sports to watch it. Or uh, finding a Russian stream or something. But what are you doing here? Flow sports. I like. I, I yeah. got flow. What else you got? Flow. You get some high on that flow sports. You get some to get to the dog track, maybe a little bit. Yeah. 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 Get on over there. Get Daytona, on over there. Yeah. Daytona Beach is filthy. You're right. I think they have, uh, they're. I think they're cutting back on the spring breakers. It's getting a little bit too much. The good times are gone. Any any of where it used to be fun, they're shutting it down. That's that's all I know. Um, <laughs> I, I I like it. I like, I'll, I'll 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 ride with you. Then a little sprinkle on the money line. Uh, I I think Seattle might win by double digits, but <laughs> <laughs> but it sounds good. Where's their motivation? What are you yeah. talking about? Where's their motivation? This Red Hawk team. I'm telling you, the Valley's going to show up today. Evansville plus eight and a half. Mm. Sprinkle that money line. There's okay. another one going on. I believe this is, and I'm sweating out Fairfield right now against Chicago State. Is they have a five point lead, but uh, the C I T. Mm-hmm. Uh, semi-final IPFW taking on Tarleton State. I believe is this one on campus? I think this one might be on campus. This is on campus, yeah. Yeah. I'm all I'll take in for that. I'll take Tarleton minus five and a half. I feel like they'll show up. I the fans will like, show up there. I, I like Tarleton a lot. So I'll stay, I'll stay chalky there, but uh don't forget we have NIT action going on yes. tomorrow here. I, I cashed in on some NIT bets over the weekend. Um, but, uh, right now you have Ohio state in Georgia. I know I couldn't, I couldn't even win. I couldn't even win my Quinnipiac play yesterday for crying out loud. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hit on Fairfield. It was fucking great. I hit on, uh, well, I mean, I, I know that wasn't NIT, but, uh, I hit earlier yeah. in the week on, uh, South Florida on the money line. Uh, but they got upset by VCU yesterday. Um, 
Yes. I rode that South Florida with you. We gave that out here. on. That the, was uh, fire. That, that was, was fire. That was one of my best plays of the whole week. Absolutely. Um, but uh, right now, what, Ohio State's laying eight and a half against Eight Georgia. and a half versus Georgia. Georgia. It's too I many mean, points. It's way too many points. Look, I want to yeah. take Ohio State because this momentum. If but, this was game, if this was game one where I didn't think Georgia was motivated, but Georgia's in this thing now. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. like they stumbled into it, so they're they're here and they're like, we'll fucking play. I mean, yeah, absolutely. Well, I'll take plus the eight and a half with Georgia. Um, I get it. I get Ohio State's motivated. You know, and I think this is the this is in Henkel, right? I think it's in Henkel. Like they were doing campus before. I think really? I'm just double checking here. I believe this is where they start doing it at Henkel. No, I thought that's Final Four only, right? Am I am I fucking this up? I might be yeah. fucking this up. I think that's Final Four only. Okay, well I, that I changes it, but I yeah, <laughs> actually you're right. It's, it's at Value City. I'm still taking the eight and a half. Yeah, I'll still either I'm still, way. I'm still taking Georgia eight yeah. and a half for sure. That's way too many points. Um, and then you got Milk Chamberlain, aka <laughs> what's uh what's the Cream other Abdul yeah, Jabbar? You got like thirty fucking nicknames. Uh, Skill yeah. Russell. Um, Cincinnati, Indiana State, going on an old Terry Holt. <laughs> this is a fun game, dude. This is a fun game in Indiana State. That that crowd is lit. I mean, they I are know. all they're, they're, they're all they, about this. They're activity. proving the committee wrong. Every yes, good God! Like I was just uh, watching a little bit of that. How many fucking signs are they? They're cutting. Uh, they're cutting into commercial. All I see is like a drunken fan. A committee got it wrong. He got it wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you gotta love it. Uh, yeah, I, I, I can't fade Indiana State. Absolutely I, not. Can't yeah. fade Indiana State and Cincinnati. I'm glad they're playing, but eventually, eventually they will stop playing. <laughs> you know, it's, it's individual. Like, okay, we've done it. We've done it. Now. We've proven <laughs> what, what's going on here. Uh, I, I really like Indiana State in this game tomorrow. Oh, this is, I'm betting the hell out of this. I'm betting the hell out of this one. Uh, then on Wednesday you have VCU going to Salt Lake City to take on Utah. Mm -hmm. You know, I was on the Utes against Iowa, but yeah. I do wonder if VCU can stay within this number because Ryan Odom recently was coaching in Utah a season ago. Maybe he's got a little inside intel mm -hmm. on how to handle that elevation. Mm -hmm. Um, or I just think their athleticism could actually give Utah some, some, some problems. So I'm going to take VCU in the point in Salt Lake city. Now this is like I said, on Wednesday, not, not Tuesday. That's Wednesdays. I also like VCU. This is too many points. Too much, too much is giving into Utah's home court advantage and the yeah. altitude. They're not playing on the moon. Let's relax now with uh, Utah VC. And like, like I said, VCU, another team we did not think would be motivated after losing to Duquesne Atlantic 10. They, they wanted, they were expected to be in the regular tournament, you know, and then, um, they when they won at Villanova, now they've been rolling. So give me give me the six and a half there, no problem. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm with you. So those are our key NIT, well, CIT, well, CBI you, plays. You, you skipped one. What, what do we got? I didn't see a line on it. What do you got? Three and a half UNLV at Seton Hall. Now this is this is second time to Jersey in two weeks. I was just gonna say we were. I was on Princeton pretty big. I did not think UNLV would want. I got, to I got burned. I got yeah. burned heavy. <laughs> <laughs> did not think they would want to go to New Jersey. So this handicapping is they're certainly not what I want to go to New Jersey twice in the same month. Yeah. Like, what the hell? Yeah, is I, I, you know. Um, but Seton Hall looks good too. I I like Seton Seton Hall. Um, Period is just looking good anyway, even if there's a neutral court. Um, UNLV's impressed me, but uh, I I I think this line should be like six, six and a half or something like that. I like I like the whole big uh, three and a half. I want to get on that. Yeah, right now. I'm all over it. Now I know I made that mistake before. Yep, I did. I want to go right. right back to the well. But the private school pussies. I know Seton Hall's private schools well, but <laughs> Princeton's Princeton's athleticism not much. Uh, mm -hmm. So this is this is where they get caught. I'm on Shaheen Holloway and the Pirates as well. Um, those are great plays, in my opinion. Great they are fucking fan plays. Fantastic. Give me I, that's a great two teamer, Indiana State and Seton Hall. By the way. All over it. All fucking over it. Um, let's talk a little bit about this old sweet 16 action going in, going on on uh what Thursday. Let me go chronologically here from the times here. Um I mean, this one in Los Angeles, Clemson getting six and a half. At the crypto center, mm. uh, 
against yeah. against Arizona. Now this is a hard one for me because I actually think if this was just in St. Louis or something, I feel like Clemson would be live. In LA, this is gonna be like ninety percent Arizona fans, right? Yeah, it'll be Arizona fans. It's in LA, but the way Arizona and listen, and I have Arizona, I have a future in Arizona. I have them winning a championship in my bracket. Not that my bracket has anything to do with game handicapping or betting. Um, but the way Arizona always plays with their food and fucks around, Clemson's very live in this game. And Clemson's playing great, you know, and they're the and the ACC that's... doesn't lose. Jeez, Unless you're Virginia, Christ. sons of bitches, ACC. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I think you got to take Clemson in the points. I, I think too. That's just too many points. Uh, that game tips off at four oh nine. Why four oh nine? I'll never fucking know. Um, and then at four thirty nine, that's Pacific time. We got San Diego State UConn a rematch of last year's national championship. Brian Dutcher and San Diego State, they're overlooked every year. And as uh, Wendy Line Mac would say last night, they had this game at a four or five point game with what, five, six minutes left? Maybe or maybe he said it was a two point game with five, six minutes yeah. left. I don't remember. Either way, Aztecs are getting 10 and a half. I'm taking, I know, look, I know we took Stetson first half mm-hmm. and UConn pissed in our face. Absolute face pissing. I did take UConn for the game though, so I fixed it. I they, you know I got some money back, but that and, did, they, and, they, and they and they almost tried to blow that because I also did the same thing that we talked about, <laughs> which would have been an amazing double loss. Stetson first half, UConn full game. <laughs> then I took Northwestern plus fifteen and a half, and UConn pissed in my face again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Love them keeping the starters in with two minutes left, up eighteen. Um, well, that's why I felt good taking UConn yesterday. Although I was kicking myself for not just playing the first half with them. Um, these Hurleys are assholes. They're there <laughs> to finish the deal. You know, like, like they're like the Harbaugh's. You know, they're not going to take the. You see what he said in the after in the press conference, or you know, in his locker room. He's like, "We got to keep blowing these teams out." It's like, it's like, man, he's got. We we need a bet detective on the case. I wonder uh, if he was laying the points. Yeah, yeah, we know what you, you know? mean. Hur- we know what you mean, Hurley. You, it, you know, wasn't his dad he, working uh like a prison or something? Yeah, absolutely. They're putting yeah. they're putting some cash in a uh, Yahtzee <laughs> box and shipping it off in a FedEx somewhere to show Hayes interpreter. I'm not sure. I mean, they know what the hell's going on out there. They know what the spread is. So um that being said, <laughs> eleven a point. I'm seeing eleven on bet online. That's a lot. Even though this is obviously this is not the same San Diego State team that was in the championship game last year, uh, but they're playing good. They're tough. I mean, I'll you want to have them give them double digits? I'll take that. I'm taking the points here. The yeah, juice says Evansville tonight. Yes, yes, we're all on that uh, and money line. Sprinkle. Yeah, the, the juice. We're playing the money line because it's in Daytona Beach. That's the what's the Seattle motivation? powerful handicap. <laughs> <laughs> dude, have you been to Daytona Beach before, dude? Yeah, I've been down there. That is uh that is a unique place. Um <laughs> seen your frogs, I've been down there for <laughs> sure. Uh Alabama, North Carolina, then at 639 going on in Los Angeles as well. And by the way, I should note that the San Diego State uh Yukon game is at the uh the fake Boston Garden, whatever they're calling that thing now. Um the T- so, so Yukon will certainly there. have the crowd. I should mention that. Um, but uh but yeah, so I mean, I I, I still yeah, uh, like the Aztecs to cover it. I still think they can cover it. They can, obviously. You, I mean, anytime you're going against UConn, you're you're, it's it's never fun. They can go on and they can go on a run like that. And that's the problem is when they go on a run, it's it's over with. They fucking put it away, and uh, that can happen in a hurry. But at the same time, yeah, I'll, I'll let San Diego State battle. It's, I mean, the line's always going to be inflated when you're going against UConn now. But uh, yeah, it. It's not fun. Keep you know, close your eyes, <laughs> and especially with San Diego State's offense, when they can go on a half hour lull where they're just not scoring, they're, they're not going to be able to afford that against UConn. So we'll yeah. see. Then you have Alabama, and North Carolina going on. Like I said, in LA now, Carolina currently I'm seeing minus four and a half. Hmm. I'm on the heels, but I am intrigued by this game because I thought coming into it uh, that Alabama had the easiest bracket like to get to the elite eight. I thought out of any team in all of the nation, I thought Alabama had the easiest path. Mm. Um, all they got to do, cause I thought they would beat grand Canyon. Now grand Canyon made him sweat a little more than I thought. Um, mm-hmm. But Charleston, I thought was ass. Um, yeah. 
I'm still going Carolina though, man, because I just feel like their Carolina's defense is the deciding factor. Their top forty defenses. Uh, I understand Alabama, and I just don't trust Nate Oates's style of play. I don't no. think it bids well for winning in March, but yeah, I don't trust Nate Oates. I don't trust this Alabama team. I'm and I'm getting less trust in the SEC in general after this tournament results. I think in the ACC, I mean, we can joke all we want about it, but uh, you know, Carolina's numbers are there. You know, they're not the best number one seed. Obviously, they're the fourth number one seed, but uh, I trust them a lot more than I trust Alabama. Yeah, and the juice is saying, Colby, it's pronounced uh, Vin V Ni. How do I say that? <laughs> Venezias. 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 Yeah, Venezias. There we Venezias go. Subscribe. Get on over to Venezias in Scottsdale, Tucson. No, Scottsdale, Phoenix, or Tempe. Mm -hmm. And their pizza's fire, says the juice, because it is. It is. Um, you're on Carolina. Yeah, I'm on Carolina there. It'll be definitely be some kind of a track meet of a game. Um, Alabama's obviously dangerous when they're hitting their shots. They're in their, in their threes. They can beat anybody. I mean, they have their offense is. But, and like you said, they had a couple good matchups. They played, they did not play great yesterday versus Grand Canyon. Um, they've been regressing. They've been not been playing well the last month or so. So, I think they've been a little luck box to get into it. You're kind of getting a small number here with North Carolina. I think North Carolina can win this by double digits. Uh, e. Arbo, not a big fan of uh, Alabama. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm assuming I, he's an Auburn fan. He says, Nate Oates is a bitch. This is the most hateable team in the country. I agree. I don't like Nate Oates for sure. Well, I mean, look, that he, he had to handle his business right about the murder. Remember? Yeah, that was fine. Oh, I, I like him as a person. Hate him as a <laughs> <laughs> Um. Illinois, Iowa State, the nightcap, 709, Thursday night tip in Boston. Mm. Look, nice ride, Illinois. <laughs> Iowa State's going to lock you the fuck down. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. Now, I will say this is the game that I think I want to see most out of all of them. It's a great clash of styles. Well, and you got Illinois, Iowa. I feel like the uh, the regionality I love. Yeah, you know what I mean? Regionality, because Illinois basically, is, if you take out Chicago, Illinois basically is Iowa. It's that bull. You know, it's just fucking hits yeah. down there. And yeah, it's just a waste and Decatur and all that shit. It's fucking brutal. Yeah. Uh, so they're made for each other. Um, so yeah, it, that's a that's a good Midwest rivalry. I like it. It's uh, and two great styles. And 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 my bracket is still alive. It, it took it. It was a little sweaty with that Houston game last night, but I got three of my final four still alive. Mm -hmm. I got Iowa State, Houston in the national championship. I think Iowa State gets by the Illini. I am a, I am a little concerned about the Illini's potential to score the ball on offense, but I do think good defense historically beats good offense in college hoops. So uh, I'm gonna lay the one and a half with the clones there. What are you doing? It's only it's down to one and a half. Is that right? You said, yeah, they're yeah, seeing that down minus two. So there's been Illinois money coming in. So that's came down, I think, a bit or right around there. Either way, I like Iowa State for sure. I mean, they've they're I I have them winning it all in one bracket, basically bracket. I think they're uh, I think they got everything. Um, I know they have the one thing going against them because they were an unranked team coming into the season, and traditionally unranked teams coming into the season they get one or two seeds. I don't even think they get this far. They certainly don't get to the final four. They usually get bounced, um, so they have that going against them historically. But uh, Illinois also, I mean, they're 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 a wagon right now. That, that's for sure. They they ran through that Big Ten tournament. They have the best. They'll they'll have the best player on the court no matter who they're playing. I don't care if it's Zach Eady. He that. He is an he is an NBA lottery pick, and um, he's also playing with a certain motivation. I mean, as as warped as it is, you know, <laughs> it's like you know, proving people wrong, judge his orders, whatever. Um, at the same time, with their defense, those are the teams that are susceptible to losing these kind of games. And when you have a team that plays no defense versus a team that plays lockdown defense in college basketball, with these refs who all the whistles, give me Iowa State, the team that plays defense. Yeah, I can't wait to watch that one. Is that the one you want to watch most on Thursday? Let me see the Thursday games. Those are the four Thursday games. Um, yeah, that'll be the that'll be the most fun competitive game for sure. Alabama, North Carolina, be uh, maybe more of a fun track meet athletic wise, but it won't have the same grit. That these teams will be getting after it. 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, look, we're gonna get to Friday's picks, but uh, first I want to tell you, and I appreciate the fact that it is no longer St. Patrick's day, but I want to say top of the morning to you. This episode is brought to you by Shamrock's, uh, you know, Shamrock shavers, manscapes, uh, St. Patrick's day, uh, um, lawnmower 5.0 from manscaped. Uh, I'm sorry. Lawnmower 5.0 ultra from manscaped embrace the luck of the Irish and join the 10 million men worldwide who trust manscaped head over to manscaped.com. Use that promo code SGPN for 20% off plus free shipping. Look, I, I love this product. I brought it to Vegas with me. I was shaving um, my face, uh, mm-hmm. you know, right before I went live and maybe, you know, you know, you get, you just bring it. it. It's good to bring wherever the hell you want. You know what I mean? Like you can do whatever they got two, uh, two, two, interchangeable next gen skin safe blade heads, one for the classic trim and a brand new foil played foil blade to go wherever Hmm. your heart desires. This thing is smooth. All right. And it's got led spotlights, two of them. Uh, shit, you lose your car keys. You could pull this thing out and help you find yourself your car keys. Um, and, and, and this does not make a mess. Oh, why Kobe? Because it's waterproof. Yes. You could be in the, in the, it could be in the, what's that was a Lake Mead. It could be well in Lake Mead there, just uh, taking care of some business and boom, you're fine with the Manscaped lawnmower ultra two uh, 5.0 lawnmower. Um, I really do enjoy this product and I have four of the five lawnmowers. They do keep getting better each and every time the 5.0 ultra is the best thing they've done. So if you, if you've gotten a previous one, I'm telling you, step your game up. You're going to be super happy with the 5.0 ultra. Uh, so get 20% off plus free shipping with the promo code SGPN at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping it uh, with the promo code SGPN at manscaped.com. We're also brought to you by hall of fame bets. Win bigger by betting smarter this NBA season with hall of fame bets, the sports betting analytics platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Research every NBA and soccer bet with historical stats and data. Stop betting in the dark and join over 30,000 users researching with Hall of Fame bets to craft more intelligent, data driven parlays. Download the Hall of Fame bets app or visit hofbets.com. Use that promo code SGPN. You get 50% off your first month today. Start research and start winning with Hall of Fame bets. Uh, Fairfield wins. Of course, Chicago State covers depending on where you got that lineup. Um, Terrible. Yeah, absolutely fucking horrible. I went with Fairfield, um, but uh, Friday's action, fun filled, the pussy pack of NC State. I think I you you know what? Yeah, escaped Oakland. I still think that ball was out of bounds on NC State. Oakland should have a chance to win the game. Yeah, I agree with you on that one. But the pussy pack, you are onto something. And my and I thought it was Oregon was the team, and I I still believe it was Oregon. Uh, uh, if they call a timeout, but the pussy pack uh, is still alive, and I'm starting to accept the that myth. Kevin Kevin Keats is Jim Valvano 2.0. I'm all over the <laughs> pussy pack plus six and a half against yeah. Marquette. Uh, that is a 409 tip on the West, and that is in Dallas, Texas. Right. That's a true yeah. neutral game for them. I mean. It, it is. Pussy, Pussy Pack's going to show up, and, and 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 to me, they can at least cover this. They, I think I think the money line's live. What are you doing here? Well, I've been saying it. I've been saying uh, tournament's time to submit all your NC State hate and just realize this is the team that's making their run. This is the they are the Syracuse. This is it. You know they are that eleven. This is the that VCU. Yeah, 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 whatever. What, yeah, right. Whatever you want to say, like it or not, they're they're doing this. Like, oh, they're going to get tired. They're not. They they're just gonna keep on going. Then they'll eventually get blown out by thirty once they get to the final four. But that's <laughs> you know that's how these things always end. Yeah, yeah. Um. At the same time, Marquette could do it. Marquette could end this thing early right now too. They could win this thing by fifteen twenty. Marquette with one of the weirdest beats. I mean, that first game they had versus Western Kentucky when it was tied with like ten minutes to go, they're down, <laughs> down eight at halftime. Next, you know, they fucking Marquette wins by nineteen and covers easily. What the <laughs> hell's going on out there? And that's what Marquette does. I mean, they they fly. Tyler Cole looked great. That. Uh, Last game versus Colorado. What a great game! What a great win versus Colorado that was. I thought, um, yeah, in a great in one of the best games of the weekend. Um, I have a feeling Marquette might run the run run NC State out of this gym though, and this this thing might end here. 
Because I think that momentum from the first weekend was with it. Easy wait, path, wait, wait, obviously. Wait, 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 I know. I know. I mean, of... whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa. Well, well, I don't get <laughs> they bring the head cold, but they're counting. You're the guy that finally sells me. I on sold you the on pussy it. back to the final I, four. And I know and when now you're get jumping out. off. My job is done here. Folks. <laughs> I gave, <laughs> I gave out the, I, I mean, I gave out the, uh, the, the the buffet burns ladder on V Sin. He got he got them rebounds. He, he got them points. <laughs> he did get those. I love how he normally refuses to get the rebounds, but he just sat there and gobbled them all up as they came to him. I love uh, unbelievable, it. Yeah. unbelievable that he sells me on this shit. <laughs> he sell he finally sells me on this shit, and then he's the one jumping off this thing. Uh, that folks, uh, I think. Tide turning, I, see, as I remember, mm -hmm. I was raised in the desert, but tides kind of turn. It's easy to see a tide turn. You got it. You got a zig. You got Did one I say those words? <laughs> <laughs> you got a zag. We got a zig. You got to hit the Oak Golden Corral when they want Ponderosa, you know, or whatever it is for Burns. I love how. Did you see the one announcer just give Burns ice cream after the win? Like, he's like, okay, assholes. With the fucking fat jokes. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody at the game. That is, <laughs> oh, you don't, uh, don't want to eat right now? We thought we thought you'd want two hours without eating. I must have killed you, Burns. What's worse, that or the kid from Cleveland State making all the threes? Uh, the the Kentucky fans saying he's a he'll be working insurance next year. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I mean, I think I think the ice cream might be worse. Um, ice cream is definitely worse. Um, yeah, I know. I know. I sold you on NC State. And we got there. We're here in the Sweet Sixteen. Um, they're either going to the Final Four or they're losing this game by by fifteen. Fifteen. Or 15. <laughs> uh, pussy pack. Let's ride it. Plus six and a half. Sprinkle that money line. Gonzaga, Purdue. I have Gonzaga coming out of this region in my bracket. They're in my final four. So uh, I will take the five and a half. Everyone's buying into Purdue after they beat the shit at a Utah state, even though Utah state's coach was interviewing a couple of days back for the Washington <laughs> job. No, 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 no. Mark I mean, had a few is going to have a few more wins in this NCAA tournament. Gonzaga shocks. Remember this? We saw them win at Rupp. Now it turns out Kentucky, obviously, I mean, lost to Oakland, but, but I mean, that Gonzaga can, has been playing a lot better in the second half of the season. Oh, we've been talking about Gonzaga's peaking right now, you know, and and this is a great time to come off Purdue after you know, like you said, after destroying Utah State, putting up a hundred. You always want to fade that situation. It's it's kind of it almost made people made people forget about Gonzaga, you know, who yes. were you yes. know, who was doing the same thing like, oh, well, this, you don't want to mess, mess with them there. And I know they played earlier in the season. Uh, Purdue won that game by ten, but like I said, that's not that's not this Gonzaga team. This Gonzaga team is out of different than all the other Gonzaga teams. They are peaking at the right time instead of usually they're putting up their thirty wins and then faltering in the tournament. Um, plus five and a half, you got to take it. Especially with Purdue's history, uh, but I'm I'm going straight up money line here. I think Gonzaga wins this and, game. And I know like Noah Beanick or something will bring up the fact that Purdue beat them by ten in November in Hawaii. That's what right? I mean. That's not the same team. Yeah, especially because Gonzaga had a shit ton of transfers too. So it's mm -hmm. like Purdue didn't really bring in that many transfers. Uh, Gonzaga had a fair fair chunk of them. But if you go back to November and December, I mean Gonzaga not only lost to Purdue, they lost to Washington in the Pac-12. Uh, they, 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 I mean, they lost to UConn, they lost to San Diego state. They, they, they had, I, I don't, I think this was early January when Santa Clara got them. My point is, is that they're a way different team now. And yeah, I actually liked, I said this with A&M yesterday, taking the team. I mean, A&M didn't win the game, but they got it to overtime, taking the team that had, that had the law, the first loss and you're in the second game. I think they have all the edge. So, uh, I love Gonzaga plus the five and a half. And I think it's worth sprinkling. And what is it? I think plus 200. Um, shout out to Cody Frazier says CJ hell of a time hanging out with you in Vegas. Yeah, I started out that absolutely caught. <laughs> glad you caught this live to Vegas. Great to see everyone out there, especially Cody. Like yes. Said, we were hitting minimums and, uh, the juice wants to know if, uh, <laughs> not know his adventure with the ladies in the night go. That's hilarious. How about how about, how about uh, that? I'll let him answer. I'll yeah. let him answer that one. I'll say this at the at the Westgate before I got my resort feedback for no Wi-Fi. The one night I was coming up there, and a, a lady of the night was by the, casually by the slot machine. Says, "Hey, where are you going?" And I told her, 
I love to. I'm beat. I like, like she was a wife or something. I am beat. I'm just going to hit the hay if you don't mind. <laughs> She's like, what? <laughs> Oh, I love you, but I am retired. <laughs> Can you put my shirts out? Right, exactly. Um, how much? How much for you? <laughs> Just to, yeah, get my laundry done. You know, <laughs> agree with me on a few things. Uh, Fanasta says, uh, "Do you do you fade teams that just play in overtime?" I don't I mean, really. Some, I mean, it depends if it fits my if it fits right. my handicap. And then, like, uh, right. And first of all, it's a week. They got a week off, four days, you know. But sometimes the way these kids are, like they're they just ride the fucking momentum. You know what I mean? Like they, like that's and that's what NC State is doing. They would wait for them to get tired, but they get stronger as the game goes on, and as overtime yeah. goes, and they went they went through you know and oh, well, I mean we have Virginia to blame for all of this, but you can't stop it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the banked in three pointer on my Virginia money money line play. You fucking or no, I had UVA minus one and a half, I think it was. Um and then it was it wasn't even a it wasn't even a clean banked in three pointer. It was a toilet bowl. Uh, just Mm -hmm. just disgusting. Um Duke, Houston, in the great state of Texas, uh in Dallas, Texas. Um Duke looked really good the other game, uh, the other day. Uh, I sure and I did. A bundle oh. of shit on that game. I ripped um, that James Madison ticket up in five minutes. Yeah, <laughs> I, was I was like, like this uh, thing I mean, is fucking I mean, god. It was god. It was god. Like, god. I want. I got in a few live Duke lines. I'm like, I don't care what it is. Duke, it's, this is this, <laughs> this is disgusting. It was so. Uh, and I think maybe to to the question prior, are we are we scared that Houston played in overtime? Uh, no, I'm not. Yeah, it's in no. Texas, and and didn't and they didn't have any starters either. Yeah, I mean, if anything, their their starters got a bunch of rest because they were fouled out. That's what I mean. So uh, <laughs> they got, yeah, they got to scout the game. <laughs> not like uh, I like Houston here. I think I think Duke is a Duke is riding high. And it's a perfect. I think it's a perfect time, you know, for to come down to, to, to carry that over. Duke was. You know, before they, before this weekend, they were one in a month. You know what I mean? Like now, I looked, I know everything went. They played their game of the year versus James Madison. That was their best game they played all year, no doubt. Um, and I got absolutely soaked in that game. But you know, it happens. Uh, I, I like you. Hey, I like you another thing though. Back here and lock us down. Yeah, let's go. Another thing though is JMU's coach left for uh for what Vandy today. He's you got to watch these coaches that got their. College yeah, basketball sleek. has changed, and they haven't adjusted sleek. the old portal yeah. stuff. Because it's not so like you're just sense. going for an interview. Mm-hmm. You got to talk to your whole fucking team. Say, hey, 24 hours, you coming with me to Nashville? You know, and it's like, we're supposed to be focusing on the fucking game here. Danny Sprinkles over there right. saying, look, I know Zach, he's great. Let's talk about you in Seattle. You know, <laughs> Seattle's a beautiful city if you've never been. You come with me to Seattle. This is the problem with the portal. You got to open the portal later. Because I yeah, honestly it's, think it's, this will be this will be a factor. Yeah, it, it's way um, too early. Um, Kim Mulkey, uh, talking about sleazy reporters. These sleazy coaches. She should be talking about that little plantation owner. She should be like, hey, these sleazy, <laughs> these sleazy coaches and these sleazy chance reporters. This is ridiculous. Um, <laughs> that being said, um, I I agree with the chat. I think Houston does pound Duke. Yeah. Yeah, because especially when you get them angry, the, the way they choked away that game last night, but yet still showed resiliency, which is a kind of a weird d- dual uh, thing to do in one game. And you see, you saw in that first game when they're angry, when Samson gets angry and gets them pissed off, they they put a whooping on things. They get hurt. They, you know, they step on throats. And um, yeah, you got you know you got Nancy Kerrigan, Fl- Flophowski, as Matt calls him at Duke, and uh, I I. Yeah, I think Houston absolutely out physicals them. Oh yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to watching that. Um, the, by the way, the Gonzaga Purdue games in Detroit. Do you think the, the the Boilermakers fans will be able to uh, tough it out in Detroit? <laughs> Indiana, to Detroit. Yeah, for them that is a vacation. That's a that's an upgrade from coming from West Lafayette to fucking Detroit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, so that's going on. I don't know if that gives Purdue an edge, but uh, Creighton, Tennessee, is the nightcap there. Seven. No, that definitely, that definitely gives that definitely gives Purdue an edge. They will have the crowd, no doubt about it. 
Yeah. Indiana fans, they, they, they travel and they will be there. There's that. You've been, I mean, what's crowd. that casino that's right there? I, I've, I've, I might have lost a uh, $1,000 in, in that casino. Yeah. I like, there's like a, yeah, yeah. like right in downtown, like in Greek town, mm-hmm. there's like a fucking casino that's right there. Um, that's, uh, that's a potential. See, I don't see Purdue fans being there. I see Gonzaga fans hitting, uh, hitting, going down there for, a, for one of them gyros. Um, there's a Hollywood casino in Greek town. Is that what that, that's what I think I went to. They stole, I think they okay. stole a thousand dollars from me. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> well, right. You should write them. They should send it back to you. That's not right. <laughs> uh, it was a few years ago. Might have had a few drinks. Right. Went to a Detroit Tiger game. Then I said, "I'm going to the casino after." Um, hmm. But uh, maybe I, 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 if I had a bet on a fan base, more likely to go to the casino. I'm going to say the Zags fan base more likely than Purdue. Would you argue that? That will go to a casino more than likely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they'll go to a casino for sure. But uh, to show up in Detroit, the kids are not going to Detroit. Why, why are they going to? <laughs> um. that, that's not direct <laughs> either from Spokane to uh, Detroit. No, no way. Well, um, well, first of all, n- nothing is direct to Spokane. Yeah, for, yeah. And, and Purdue, they're they're a pilot school. They can fly anywhere they want. No, they won't do their own planes. That, that, that's that. Is true. I want this pilot. I want it's a matter of national security. Creighton, Tennessee is the one after. I think this is the hardest game to pick of the eight. This is a very difficult game for me to pick right here. Yeah. Um, I've been trying to fade Tennessee. And I said good, you know, good for you. You beat St. Pete's or whoever the fuck whoever the first matchup was. Yeah, St. Pete's. Then, uh, yeah. It was St. Pete's, right? And I want yeah. I want them back. And I wanted Texas and I had Texas. I had a money line. I had a, the, one of the only dogs to cover. I did have that at least. And I thought they were going to beat uh, Barnes in the rematch. And, t- and and Tennessee played terrible. Respects. You know what I mean? It was like Texas. It was there for the win. Oh, Tennessee my God. Good. I had Texas. I mean, All right. I had Tennessee ridden, minus ridden. points. And I, I felt like I was on the right side, but it didn't hit. Um, these are two teams I traditionally like to fade in March. That's why it's yeah, a very me. hard game for me. Yes, Creighton should have lost to Oregon. Yeah. They should have lost to Oregon. They are, they're a business. They're like, the, they're, you know, they're, they're the business jo- uh, uh, team. They just show up to work. It's the same thing as a mid January game as it is in March, you know, late March to them. They don't care. They're just like, they're, they're very business like. So um, they feel like they didn't, they have a, a job to finish. They made Marquette both feel like they have jobs to finish after last year's tournament. Uh, the Creighton did lead eight last year. Is that what it was? Then they, lost they did. It. And they got, they, they almost, they probably should have beaten right. San Diego State. Um, so that's saying, I think they are kind of on a mission that way. I I, I want to take Creighton to beat Tennessee. First of all, I want to fade Tennessee anyway. I I think Creighton gets this. I think I'm with you. I think on my bracket I took Tennessee because I thought they'd be playing mm-hmm. Oregon. I think I think I'm with you. I think I'll take Tennessee. I'm sorry. I think I'll take yeah. Creighton uh, plus two and a half. I mean, I, if you're if you're af- asking me to to rank the games on confidence, this is the one mm-hmm. that would be at the absolute lowest because I have I I really struggle with this one. I, I you know I thought right. for a second I was like, well, but Barnes, you know, the the Tennessee's probably a little more of a veteran team. I, I traditionally like to go with the defensive teams against the offensive teams, but Barnes has such a history of shit in the bed in March. Yeah, absolutely. That That's I what think I'm saying. I gotta what, go what are we here. talking about? That's what I'm saying. Like, what yeah. are we talking about here with fucking Barnes? And like what all of a sudden people think Tennessee's back? I mean and no. I get that stat. If I get they that stat. Back, they ER was against saying, Texas. Right. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Uh, right, they were ter- They still won being three for twenty. I mean, their defense will be there. That's the thing, difference between this team. Their defense will always be there, and usually they'd never have the offense. Um, you're going to need it. Where's Creighton? Creighton's going to fucking fill it up. And I think so. Some of these teams they get these scares like that. In uh, I was actually impressed with Creighton to be honest with you, the way that with that game versus Oregon because that's not the style they like to play either. But they did. They were able to fight it out with them. You know, showed and a little heart in the end. Showed a little yeah. heart. Showed a little heart. Yeah, got lucky, but they got in there. All right, well, folks, that's our show. I mean, which 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 one do you feel best about in the Elite Eight? I'm sorry, on the uh, Sweet Sixteen, to uh, like out of all the Sweet all the bets. Sweet Sixteen, out of all the bets, the bet. I want to say favorite one. I know. Uh, I believe. That's For me, tough. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say North Carolina against Alabama. I was just I was just gonna say that I was just gonna say no either North Carolina 
or uh, I mean, the, I I think Houston Duke would be one, but the way Duke looked the other day, you're just like, oh, maybe. But yeah, uh, Duke's, Duke's yeah. definitely puts a little scared. I like I like Houston though. Uh, Gonzaga is my favorite dog, and uh, North Carolina is my favorite fave. Yeah, Pretty yeah. Sure. Uh, all right, folks, that's our show. We'll be back later in the week. Remember, uh, I'll be back in about an hour and 45 minutes with NC Nick, mm. Noah Beanick, Moneyline Mac, talking all the action, talking coaching hires, transfer portal, CIT, CBI, NIT, mm. Sweet 16, all that good stuff. And I'm sure he'll have a lot to say about the ACC. Well, NC Nick, uh, give CJ Sullivan a follow on Twitter at CJ Sullivan underscore. Uh, and check out the bottom line bombs podcast. Uh, they just dropped an episode about an hour ago. So get on over there. Check out the bottom line bombs. Uh, and uh, yeah, aren't you going to be in Milwaukee soon? Right, yeah. April 19th, the weekend coming up soon at the laughing tap all weekend. If you're in the Milwaukee, anywhere in the Midwest area, come on out, travel like Purdue fans and catch my stand up soon. So 19th, 20th, 21st, get on over there. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, I'm on Twitter at the Colby D. Uh, the college basketball experience is on Twitter at TCE on SGPN. I see 350 sons of guns in here. Get on over there. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. Uh, YouTube.com slash the college experience. Uh, check out the sports gambling podcast as well. We're going live later tonight at uh, eight 30 Pacific. Uh, and yeah, until next time, folks, this is the college basketball experience bombs down under you better start thinking about yours. And we, out of here. Well, I